Number 1. Cape Henlopen State Park. The pools which hold the horseshoe crabs for touching are absolutely the best fun for young children. The large aquariums are perfect for viewers of all ages and sizes. Down the way, not far, is an excellent playground. The swings, slides and climbing options are without parallel. The water fountains work, and the bathrooms have soap are very clean. The park is very nice with lots of trails a nice beach a hawk watch area and fishing. We are just surf fishing the beach is very nice. Not far from Lewis which is a great place to stay. Walked some of the trails, had a good time. Number 2. Trap Pond State Park. Recently, I had an opportunity to take a pontoon boat cruise and guided tour of Trap Pond that included the bald cypress tree grove and swamp section of the pond. Our guide was very friendly and knowledgeable about the pond and welcomed questions from our group. The pond itself is expansive and scenic, draped with trees and plants along the shoreline and in the pond as well. The waterfowl that we were able to see on the tour included cormorants, herons, cranes, egrets, ducks, and geese as well as several species of turtles. Number 3. Delaware Seashore State Park. I prefer the state park beaches being a resident of Delaware. I get the season permit instead of paying every visit. The beaches are well kept, don't seem to have the riffraff you run across at the public beaches, freer to enjoy the beach. Some, maybe all, state park beaches don't have lifeguards, so beware. Some have bath houses which is a plus, most have dune crossing mats that make it much nicer. Number 4. White Clay Creek State Park. We come here most often approaching from the Delaware side but we also use Pennsylvania as our base. Some trails here span more than one state. Each time we choose a different route and it is always interesting hike. The park is quite extensive and the nature here is lush and beautiful. This time we enjoyed again the Tri-State Trail and Mason-Dixon Trails. Tri-State Monument is a popular landmark. In Delaware there is a park fee one needs to pay. Out of state it is $8. Number 5. Fenwick Island State Park. I really expected to love this place. The dunes are awesome and the water was wonderful for this time of year. I just expected a bit more from the facilities. Restrooms were dirty and old. Snack bar was very, very minimal. My home park is Island Beach State Park in NJ and this place couldn't hold a candle to it. We spent a day soaking up the sun, reading a book and watching some guys surf fish. Great public facilities, toilets and showers were clean. Number 6. Lums Pond State Park. Family This campground definitely not suitable for family with younger kids, the parking spots is so far from the campsite, if you get site 4, 6, 8, 10 then it would be better, but if you are on 2, 3, 5, 7, 9 then that would be so much work for you to carry your stuffs from the site to and from the car. Especially there's too much stuffs to carry since it's camping. Site 8 and 7 can get really muddy since the water hose is right by 8 and 7 is under 8 with a slope, there's nothing there to prevent the water from running to the tent sites. Number 7. Killens Pond State Park. During COVID I have been on a mission to explore outdoor areas in the state of Delaware and beyond. Yesterday my husband and I walked the pond trail which was about 2.5 miles in length. I was very impressed with this lovely trail. There were a few hilly spots for Delaware but everything was super easy to negotiate. It was a beautiful trail and a wonderful way to spend a sunny winter afternoon. We started at the nature center and walked clockwise. The nature center was obviously closed but what a lovely location to view the pond. Number 8. Bellevue State Park. This park offers many activities, there's a walking trail, a nature center, an arts center, a stable, a play area even a small gift type shop. Bellevue is an activity complex, there are a number of beautifully maintained buildings including a DuPont mansion, if you're looking to take a long walk in the woods or get away from it all, White Clay Creek State Park and its 3,000 wooded acres isn't far from Bellevue. Number 9. Holtz Landing State Park. The new boat launch is very nice and the approach lane simple to navigate even with a large pontoon. Be advised there is an 8-inch high concrete step across the end of the east side launch. Not sure about the west side one, if you back your trailer too far and it goes over this step you will get stuck. After launching your boat and ready to go up the ramp you will not move. Watched a guy destroy a trailer there after launching. Rip the axle off the trailer after overpowering. Number 10. Brandywine Creek State Park. I have both hiked the trails and tubed down the creek at Brandywine Creek State Park. 
great and scenic trails, actually saw more wildlife while tubing than hiking. Tubed from Brandywine River Museum of Art to Thompson Bridge. There are warnings to not go past Thompson Bridge due to the dams. Some low parts of the creek had to be walked, but definitely relaxing and fun. There were also kayakers and canoes out as well. Small parking lot at Thompson Bridge, get there early. Wear sunblock, bug spray, bring water, shades, a paddle for steering, a trash bag and water shoes. Hope you like this video. For more videos please subscribe to our channel.